In this video, you're going to learn how to use Wokwi to draw and simulate simple digital designs. So after you open the template, we can minimize this over here. And I like to turn the grid on. Left click to uh, move around and then scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And you also want to do save a copy so that you get a new number at the top here. And now that's your design. When you're logged into Wokwe, you'll have a list of all your designs that you can access up here. So we've got two modes in Wokwe. We're in drawing mode at the moment. So as we move things around, the wires stay connected, but we can't run a simulation. We click the green play button, and now we're in simulation mode. And up here, you can see how real time we're running, 100% real time at the moment. And then if I click this, I can use my keyboard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to turn on on these. These first four get inverted, so I can see over here those are turned off and on, and the other ones are like that. So feel free to have a play around. If you want to know what um, the wiring is of something, you can click and then you'll get a question mark and that'll give you a bit of information. We currently don't have that for the uh, logic gates so you have to follow the, the digital logic lesson plans if you want to learn about that. So if we want to add a component we can select something and press D or we can come up here press add and then we can filter for just the things that work the logic that works with the ASIC flow. And you can also shift and select, move things around and press D and get a duplicate of that block. We can also use that for moving. If you want to undo and redo, that's Control Z and Control Y. We've added an electrical rule check recently. So if we are using a gate, and it's not connected up, it's missing inputs, you'll get some warnings up here. You can double click to remove a wire. As you draw, it will automatically uh, follow you, but if you want to do something specific, you can click on the waypoints to make it neater. And you can also, after you've selected something, you can change the color. Now, if you're doing a clocked design, you might want to use our automatic clock generator and then this switch would need to be switched to the left. So we do that in simulation mode. Otherwise, we can use this switch. And you can see as I press it, the segment over here is turning on and off. And if I run it with the clock, it looks like it's always on, but actually it's flashing really quickly. We have a bit more information about the clock in the FAQ. We have this Wokwi FAQs up here, and then here's some information about the clock. A little debug tip that I like is to add an LED. So if you've got some complex logic, you could wire this up, cathode anode, so the cathode has got to go to ground. So I'll wire this up to here, take a copy of this, and then wire that here. And now when I simulate, I'll also get an extra bit of information. So if I have a very complicated design, I could use an LED to find out what's going on in the middle of a net. Once you're ready to submit your design, you don't need to delete these unconnected things. They'll just be ignored anyway. And another important thing to know is that only the design that is in between the in input and the output boards it's actually going to get made onto the ASIC. So if you add stuff and feeding in here or takes the outputs, that can be useful for testing and simulation, but it won't go onto the chip. After you're finished, then you need to remember to press that save button again. And then this number is what you'll be using to make the submission.